Here's the field for race number 12. 12th race is the Ohio's First Lady Philly Pace Final for three-year-old Phillies. Racing one mile, a purse of $24,864. Number one, Hills Worth Feather. Well, by Steve Croft, Gregory March, and Hill Browning of Ohio. Steve Croft trains, Dave Hawk drives. The two, Steph Crests over the Crest Farms of Miamisburg. Virgil Morgan Jr. trains, Dave Miller up. Number three, Moretta. Well, then trained by Mike Metters of Columbus for Brad Hanners. Number four, Lola's Bud Light. Shown by Terry Gill on the Massillon, Ohio. Jeff Cox trains. The driver is Joe Essig, Jr. Five, Misty Sabra. Owned by Mike Lowe of West Lafayette. Ty Loy, the trainer driver. Number six, Mary Maker. Owned by Ross Herr and Jim Woodward of Groveport. Ross Herr trains for Eric Ludford. Number seven, Tucson Shannon, owned by Charles and Kathleen Kidd of Utica. Kenny Kidd, the trainer driver. And the eight, Sharp Ellen, owned by Wiggins, Rose, Rose of Zenian, Rose of Yellow Springs. T.D. Manley trains, Chip Noble on the bike. One play, win play show and perfected trifecta wagering post time in seven minutes. Twelfth race, three old Philly Pacers, the 1996 Ohio's First Lady Philly Pace in behind the gate. They're on the back stretch, headed for the start. And uh, they're off, and it's Steph Cress moving promptly for the lead. Misty Sombra from the outside also trying for the lead. And Hills War Feather from off the pylons as they fire into that first turn. And Hills War Feather taking the lead here by a length. Misty Schauber to the outside is racing second. At the rail is Steph Kress, who's now third. And Moretta is next in line at fourth. Inside and five, Lola's Bud Light. To the inside, gapping slightly, sixth Mary Maker. Then comes Tucson Shannon, followed by Sharp Bell. An opening quarter, 26 and four. Hills Ward for the lead, but here comes Miller now with Steph Kress. And uh, Steph Kress ducking in behind the leader. Hills Ward Feather will not give up that lead, and Steph Kress settles for the garden spot trip. Misty Sauber now gapping through lengths as third. Moretta coming first up on the outside, fourth. Lola's Bud Light to the outer flow is racing fifth with Mary Maker next in line, sixth. Sharp Ellen alertly up the reel is now seventh. Tucson Shannon to the outside is eighth, the half. 55 and three to the back stretch. And it's Hills War Feather with the lead. On the outside, Moretta will pressure the leader. Steph Kress out the rail is racing a third. To the outside, drafting with cover, Lola's Bud Lights. Misty Sauber out the rail is racing fifth. And Mary Maker to the outer flow is sixth. And Hawk backing the pace down here with Hills War Feather. Looking to reserve energy for the stretch drive. At the outside, Moretta is right there. Three quarters, 125. Tightly packed here as they swing to the top of the stretch. Hills War Feather is under attack. Here comes Mary Maker far outside and between horses. Moretta Steph Cress still locked in tight here. No racing room. Now less than an eighth of a mile ago. And down the stretch. And Mary Maker has a lead and she opens up. But here comes Tucson Shannon as they drive in the deep stretch. It's the 11 to 1 shot. Mary Maker home for here. Tucson Shannon up for second. It'll be tight for show in one. 54 and 3. Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, stepping trackside into the winner's circle, the uh, unofficial winner of the 1996 Ohio's First Lady Philly Pace, number 6, Mary Maker. Daughter of Tudor Scooter from the race time era, Joanna's time, bred by the Shandell Farms of Ohio. Owned by Ross Herr and James Woodward of Groveport, Ohio. Ross Herr is the trainer, nicely handled by Eric Lentford. Mary Maker, 11 to 1 shot, recording her fifth win of the season, and that is a sweet one. 154 and a 3 fifths. The 12th race is now official. The 6 7 Perfecta, $851.40, 851 40 The 6 7 4 Trifecta, $9,934 even. 99, 34.